I'm Nate from Aero Espresso, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the magnetic strength of your Aero Portafunnel by adjusting the number of magnets for the perfect fit. The Aero Portafunnel has three unique features that set it apart from the typical magnetic dosing funnel. The first is its extreme magnetic strength. It uses up to 14 grade N52 neodymium magnets, which is the strongest grade available. To demonstrate, here is a piece of magnetic field viewing paper. When I hold it over a standard dosing funnel with small pressed-in magnets versus the aero portafunnel, funnel you can immediately see the difference in magnetic field strength. The second unique feature is how the magnets are retained. They're inserted into individual slots, precision machined into the side of the funnel. To retain them, a ferritic stainless steel sleeve slides over the magnets, tightly holding the assembly together without the need for glue, fasteners, and with no rattle. It's an elegant solution, and the best part, which leads us to the third unique feature, is that the sleeve can be removed to adjust the number of magnets, allowing you to customize the magnetic strength of the portafunnel exactly how you want it. This adjustability is what I'll be demonstrating in detail today, so let's get started. When you receive your portafunnel, it will be set up with all magnets installed for full magnetic strength. Some portafilter baskets are more attracted to magnets than others, and if you find the portafilter too hard to remove, or if it's trying to pull the basket out of your portafilter, you may want to reduce the magnetic strength. However, before reducing the strength, keep in mind that the amount of force required to remove the portafunnel from your basket can greatly be reduced by rotating the basket to remove it, rather than pulling it straight up and off. Give this a try first, as it might allow you to keep your portafunnel at full magnetic strength with no adjustments needed. If you've decided you want to remove some magnets, the first step is to gather the necessary tools. The first thing needed is our disassembly and magnet adjustment kit. It includes a sleeve removal tool, magnet orientation tool, and some spare magnets. This kit is required, and attempting to perform this process without it will render the portafunnel unusable as the magnets are nearly impossible to reinsert without the kit. You'll also need an espresso basket. You can use a spare if you have one, or else remove the one from inside your portafilter. And finally, although not required, I highly recommend a kitchen towel or other soft surface to work on, and some safety glasses, as we're going to be working with high strength magnets. And real quick, one more thing I want to touch on is magnet safety. Rare earth neodymium magnets are incredibly strong, but also brittle. Letting these magnets snap together can cause them to break and send projectiles flying at high speeds. Although it's rare with this size of magnet, please do not let them snap together. So now that we have everything we need, we can finally get started. The first step is to remove the stainless steel sleeve using the sleeve removal tool. You'll notice that this tool has the Aero logo embossed on the side. Whenever you're using this tool, the orientation of this logo must match the logo on the funnel. This is very important, so don't forget this. To remove the sleeve, place the tool around the funnel and align the tip of the wedge with the seam between the funnel and sleeve. You'll feel it catch and you'll want to make sure that it is aligned around the entire circumference of the funnel. You'll also want to ensure the orientation of the tool is correct by checking that the direction of the logo is the same on the tool and the funnel. Next, attach your basket to the bottom of the funnel. Squeeze the two tabs together until you feel the sleeve begin to separate from the funnel. This requires a good amount of force, so don't be afraid to squeeze hard. Once you feel the sleeve begin to separate, do not let off the pressure. Continue to squeeze the tabs, and with your pointer finger and your other hand, press the tool down firmly to remove the ring. If you feel the tool catch and you find it difficult to press the sleeve off, slightly relax the pressure squeezing the tabs together while continuing to press down, and the sleeve will pop right off. Set the sleeve and sleeve removal tool to the side, Grab the magnet orientation tool and use it to remove the desired number of magnets. In this example, I'll remove every other magnet. The magnet removal tool has a magnet embedded inside of it which will stick to the magnets in the funnel allowing you to easily remove them. Simply cover the adjacent magnets with your fingers, hover the tool over the target magnet, let it orient itself and stick, and then remove the magnet. Repeat this process for all desired magnets. If you want to add magnets back in, it's essential that you use the magnet orientation tool as the magnet embedded inside the tool will properly orient the magnet. Separate a magnet from its stack and set it on your work surface. 
pick it up with the magnet orientation tool and ensure it sits perpendicular on one of its long faces. You may need to use your fingers to help adjust the magnet properly. Cover the adjacent magnets with your fingers and bring the magnet up to the slot. The polarity of the adjacent magnets will pull it into position. If it's repelling, rotate the magnet 180 degrees and it will drop right in. If you're starting with no magnets in the funnel, use the magnet insertion tool to insert the first magnet. Grab the second magnet, cover the first with your finger to hold it in, and insert the second magnet. You'll know you have the correct orientation if the magnets attract and retain themselves. If they repel and want to pop out, simply rotate the magnet 180 degrees and reinsert. Repeat this process with as many magnets as desired. If you plan to configure the funnel at half strength, be sure to attach it to a basket to help retain the magnets and prevent them from falling out. Once you're happy with the number of magnets, it's time to reassemble. Flip the porta funnel upside down so the bottom is facing you and grab the sleeve removal tool and the sleeve. Making sure that the orientation is correct, place the sleeve removal tool over the funnel and align it so that you can squeeze the tabs completely closed. While holding the tabs closed with one hand, use the other to place the sleeve back onto the funnel. Once you have the sleeve reinstalled, simply remove the orange ring and you're done. Congratulations, you've successfully adjusted the magnetic strength of the Aeroporta funnel. If at any point you want to readjust, simply repeat this process. Before we end, I want to go over some quick troubleshooting with easy fixes. The most common mistake made is releasing the pressure on the tabs before completely removing the sleeve or not squeezing the tabs closed when reinstalling the sleeve. This will cause the magnets to stick to the top of the sleeve, making it difficult to continue. If this happens, don't worry, we have an easy fix. Place the funnel on your work surface with the bottom facing you. Place the sleeve removal tool over the funnel with the logos in the same orientation and squeeze. Once the sleeve separates from the magnets, continue to apply pressure to the tabs and place the funnel on your basket. Use your pointer finger and other hand to press the sleeve off the funnel and from here you can adjust the number of magnets or reassemble. Another common issue is getting a magnet jam crooked into one of the slots. If this happens, simply grab your stack of spare magnets and use them to remove the jammed magnet. If you have any other questions about the Aero Porta Funnel, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find our contact info and a link to our website in the video description below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and we hope you love your new Aero Porta Funnel.